All right, so the game that we got now is called Water Bottle Roulette. Okay, this one's one of my favorite ones that we're going to post on here, mainly because you can make it fun. You can use water balloons if you want to, wet sponges, uh, but it's a really simple game. Hope you guys like it. I'm going to give you some basic instructions. Just keep watching, okay? All right, so wicked easy. All you guys need is a pizza box or something flat. You're going to need a bottle and then some kind of very soft ball. So make sure that everyone who's playing has a distinct spot that they're going to stand so they'll know when the bottle lands on them. All right, now you just got to spin the bottle on the box. Whoever it lands on is it. All right, guys, so after the bottle spins and lands on someone, what they're going to do, they're going to pick up the sock or the sponge with water, whatever you guys got to kind of make this game fun, but they're going to pick that up. Everyone else runs, okay, so you run away, and the person who the bottle landed on, it's their job to try and throw the ball and tag someone, okay? All right. Best ways to modify that game is to swap out the item that you use and to kind of throw and tag people after you spin the bottle, okay? So you guys can use uh, like a wet sponge works good. You can kind of throw that. You can put the sock in a bunch of water. That's fun too. Uh, water balloons, or you guys can just use like a like a small foam ball or something, okay? Well, as long as it works. Uh, obviously not like any basketballs. Make sure no one's gonna get hurt. All right, um, rules, okay? You guys can uh, do timed, so you guys can play for like five minutes and see who gets uh, tagged the least, or you can do it through elimination. So like if someone gets hit with the ball, okay, they're out. Okay, those are pretty much two ways to play. All right, have fun.